Richard Mason, all 64, Jamie Davidson. Lou Orbis from the Netherlands in car number 22. Peter Alding in car number one. And Barry Heath in 3.43. The young man from Cheslin Hay in Staffordshire, Stephen Cooper, number 221. And Leeds based Mark Webster in 226. Pim Nasing in car number 89, and Jacques Valk in car number 27. Young Stephen Kayser in 3.80. Gareth Bott in car number 41. And car number 98, Les Spencer. Fifty-three John Lund and seventy-seven Ian Platts. Flag is down, first time, and Dave Beresford is away in car number 260. From 64, Kev Smith, Paul Harrison in car number two. Down the home stretch for the first time and into turns one and two. We've got a problem at the back end. And it's Mal Brown in car number 34. One of the two cars that have caught up down there, and Nigel Walton is the other one. They've almost completed the first lap as they come out of turn four with Beresford in the lead in 260. From Kev Smith in car number 64, round into the Bradford turn. The pressures are coming on. Andy Smith has moved up into second place in car number third place, rather in 391. There's trouble down here for Gareth Bott in car number 41. And for Peter Falding in car number one. They're bouncing across the timbers there. Stephen Kayser has gone in car number 380. 41 and Peter Falding in car number one. Both of them gone down there. Wilf Warren still going through in car number 91 and they're stretched around here now. It's all over the place. Leaders coming through. And uh, there they go, Beresford in 260, already up against the back markers, and Kev Smith takes the lunge at Beresford in car number 260 to try and move him. Andy Smith is up there as well in car number 391, and they go like a train down the back straight, in go the bumpers, and Beresford goes away, and it's Andy Smith who's taken over in car number 391. Smith in 391 in the early stages comes over, he's going to tangle with that back marker, but moves beautifully around the outside of car number 89, and that was Bim Nasing there, who almost upset the upper card as far as Andy Smith was concerned. It's Andy Smith in car number 391 from Paul Harris in car number 2 in that second position, moving down that back straight and into turn three and four and back into the home straight and these cars are stretched right the way around the raceway now which might make it difficult for those front runners and there goes the number 515 car of Junior Wayman he's moved up into second place as Junior by the look of it in car number 515 down that back straight going chasing after the 391 car of Andy Smith Andy Smith coming out of turn four and into the home straight again past the start finish line moving Mark Webster out of the way in car number 226 he slips on the inside there, Wayman's following him all the way through in car number 515, Paul Harris is still in third place in car number 2, Kev Smith has dropped down into fourth position in car number 64, and uh, then Beresford in car number 260, and Rob Cowley in 73. But up front the heat is on in the very early stages indeed, as Junior Wayman goes bombing through there, out of it goes that number 34 car, I think that was again, of Mel Brown pumping away as the leaders go roaring through. It's still Andy Smith in 391, but breathing down his exhaust pipe is... 515 Junior Wayman, Andy Smith in 391 and Junior Wayman in 515 pulling away from the rest of the field, they both go wide on the Bradford turn, Paul Harrison in third place in car number two but those two are breaking right away, Junior Wayman trying to use the bumper on Smith but Smith won't go, he's coming out of that turn again and still in the lead, 391 Andy Smith from 515 Junior Wayman in second place, 64 Kev Smith third, Dave Beresford moving back up into fourth place in car number 260, right behind him is Rob Cowley in 73, and uh, they're still moving around here extremely quickly, a big field of cars, but it's all beginning to happen. And uh, there it is, we've got a change, and it's Junior Wayman in car number 515 who goes into the lead. Followed by 391, Andy Smith, Andy Smith trying to come through on the inside, but Wayman has got away on the show, and uh, Corona has gone along with Richard Mason in car number 202, so that's 217 and 202 in trouble on that far side. Meanwhile, we've uh, got some car steam in there and it looks as if the Wayman car is smoking in 515 my goodness me is it going to last out is it serious trouble is it breaks we'll have to find out it's Junior Wayman in 515 in the lead out of turn four into the home stretch still being chased by Andy Smith in car number 391 515 and 391 
in first and second places at the halfway stage. Mr. Starter, they've seemingly drawn away from the rest of the pack now. Let's have a look and see what's happening further down. Kev Smith is up there in night car number 64. So there they go, 515 and 391, first and second, and the smoke uh, from what looks like the Jacques Valcar over on that far side, number 27. So uh, he's uh, sidelined with what could be a nasty blow there. So back to see what's happening up front, Mitch Junior Wayman in 515, pulling away now from Anthony Smith in 391. Looks as if Kev Smith is still in that third place in car number 64, followed by, let's have a look, Dave Beresford in 260, and then uh, Rob Carley in car number 73, doing quite nicely. There's Chandler could well be up there in 2-1-3, but back up front, it's still Junior Wayman in 5-1-5. 15 laps have gone, and it's Junior Wayman in 5-1-5. Oh, and trouble over there on that far side. Who's that that's in trouble there? Gone into the fence. Cowley, was it? And Mal Brown again in car number 34. So, uh, still time for changes, mind you. Things could happen, and very often they do in this unpredictable sport of Formula One stock car racing. Junior Wayman though still there in 5-1-5. Andy Smith still in that second place in car number 391. Then number 64, Kev Smith. And those are the first three from Dave Beresford still there as well in car number 260. Wow, so quite a lot of runners, mind you, still in there. And uh, each and every one could have a bearing on the final outcome, that race. Not over until the chequered flag goes down. 25 laps this one, remember. And it's five next time, Mr. Starter. They have a noch 500 to harm. The cop loper, number 515, Junior Wayman. Links come and severe. There is on the cop loper, 300 and 12, 515. Junior Wayman still there. Into the closing stages of this one, then. Will things happen before the chequered flag goes down? We shall have to wait and see. Still Junior Wayman in 5-1-5, stamping his authority over this one. Cars now falling by the wayside quite regularly. Oh, my goodness me! Oh, my goodness me! Are we going to get a change in the closing stages? Wayman is in trouble in 5-1-5. Is it going to be Andy Smith? In 391, it might well be. Has he gone into the lead? Just trying to find out as they come round that turn, and what a stroke this will be. 391, Andy Smith is there in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Andy Smith, is he going to pull it off as he goes down that back straight? My goodness, he might. He's got a reasonably good lead on the next man down the line, which surely is Kev Smith in car number 64. It's 391, Andy Smith out in the lead, and he's still there, and they're on the last lap, and is it going to be a Smith win? How marvellous, the first father and son. Surely team to take the world final. Andy Smith, he's going to do it out of three and into four and down into the home straight. And it is, it's Andy Smith in 391 who crosses the line in first place. What an incredible performance from that man. Kev Smith surely in second place in car number 64. And well, we're really absolutely smack speechless up here. Fantastic, quite incredible. And who would have thought it? Andy Smith. And that's it, Mr. Starter. We can have the Reds. And that young man from Oldham has taken the major trophy for Brisker Formula One stock car racing here at Bradford. What a performance.